But you have to show it like this. To put it together. So it won't fundraising to look after them because I can't afford to look after the kids, feed them three times a day, medical, dress, the uh, toiletries, everything was not affordable. So I needed to find a way to raise this fund. And so I thought of a fashion show. When I was small, my mother died and leave me when I was two years old. My mother died, died and leave me. My father take care of me as I I was five years old. My father started beating me, and I can't, I can't, I can't stay again in the house because of beating. Now I ran away. Beyond the polished streets of Calabar, capital of Cross River State, and Nigeria's top tourist destination, the forgotten precincts where street children lived, poverty and fear thrived. And he told me his name and told me the problem that he's been accused of being a wizard and all that. They drove him away from the house. And I made several attempts to take him home, but they told me they don't want him. Father, mother, they don't want him. So it was actually through him I got to know that there were many others. For months, this shanty of derelict buildings was their squatter home, a concrete carcass sitting in the middle of a barren wasteland, overrun by grass, snakes, wild animals and criminals. The time I was living here, I always be suffering when some boys would come here and we would run. Yeah, in the night we always suffer before we sleep and before we eat. Abandoned in a brutal adult world of CD exploitation, they spent their days scavenging for food. We always pack rubber and bottle and we sell so that we have money and knights forced to offer up their pubescent, bedraggled bodies. Sometimes, like girls, we are going to, to go out to look for food to eat. And sometimes, if we want to sleep, we will by force before we sleep. If we don't shout, we are not sleeping. What do you mean if you don't shout, you're not sleeping? Uncle dies in the night did not. They disturb us, boys. Uh, there were about 15 girls living in this little room. Uh, unfortunately, it was more like a brothel. The, 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 the disadvantage was that uh, the, the boys who stay here had a free hand to do whatever they want with the girls. So the girls, although they, they had a place to stay, they had the boys giving them food to eat and all that. But at the end of the day, they were more like sex slaves you know, to them. By any measure, their future seemed to have the seal of doom. Their parents had abandoned them to their fate. Children, some as little as five, had no option but to turn to the fearsome brutality of the streets. She can't hold her because the man had damaged her. Then, two years ago, the wife of the governor of Cross River State, Mrs. Obioma Lia Limoke, intervened. She visited an area like this in central Calabar, where dozens of street kids were squatting. It was like a wild land, populated by untamed feral children, and the visit left her stricken. I did go to the back of Okoya Ripu house and saw kids sleeping in the bush and they said they didn't have homes. Those of them that had homes said their parents didn't want them. And I'm thinking, excuse me, why? No answers. And um, the first thing that came to my mind is, okay, let's just get them a home. She told them that in two weeks they'll be out of the spot. And she actually had to, you know, when you make a promise to a child, you just have to fulfill the promise. That she A frenzy of activity followed. Two weeks later, 
With little funds and in a country where social welfare offers very little, Mrs. Imoke, along with her husband, Governor Leal Imoke, pulled out all the stops. And almost improbably, the children went from sleeping rough to this, the Destiny's Child Center, a modern shelter for street children and the only one of its kind for miles around. The day that I went to see them, they had just come off the streets. They were not as many as they are now. But I have never seen children so excited to sleep on a mattress in a dormitory on a bunk bed. I have never seen children just asking whether this is real. Are they here for the night or are they here? They were asking questions like, you know, is this permanent? Are we going to go away tomorrow? You know? Since that time, the shelter has taken in dozens more street kids and has grown to become a center for vocational training and rehabilitation, offering the children education and valuable skills as the key to their future. We're doing the practical work here. This room actually is for the uh, uh, practical work. They do the beading, the sewing, the knitting, and everything they know they can do here. We have different girls here, different skills. They can, like here on the table, they've done many things. For teenagers such as Efyuk Cobham Ayo, young, talented, but fraught with many years of discontent and lack of opportunities, the center and its founder, Mrs. Imoke, have become a beacon of hope, helping him to discover his considerable talents. All this artwork was created by him. The different image in my life is that before when I was outside, I found life difficult. So as I'm here now, I'm free. And I'm, 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 I know how to do some things that I did not know how to do before. I know how to greet, to obey, and all that. And also learn some manners from this place. And by next year, I'm about to go to football academy to start my school and be training ball there also. Today we have 38 of them in primary school. We have six going into secondary school in January this year, next year. We have four of them that have been taken into the um, football academy. We have 15 of them in skills acquisition programs. Two of them are learning hairdressing. And the rest of them are being schooled at home. Beyond the center itself, Mrs. Imoke has become one of the most important voices for reform, pushing through an array of laws at the state parliament on child rights, so that parents or guardians who abuse children can be brought to book. We need to get the law working. Once we can get the law working to protect our children and women, half of our problems are over. But I cannot do this alone. I can't. We need help from the law. And the law that is going to...